Betty Robinson. Good evening, my name is Betty Robinson. Uh, this is not about immigration or foreigners or diversion, I mean <laughs> diversity. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is about public safety. We need ICE to coordinate with local law, law enforcement to keep illegal alien criminals off our streets. If the criminals are released into communities, ICE agents are obligated to go into those communities to apprehend them, thereby putting themselves and residents of those communities at risk. We are told that the crime rate for immigrants is less than that of native born. That sure may be true, but not for illegal aliens. It is estimated from information gathered by the GAO that the homicide rate for illegal aliens is 10 times higher than that of U.S. citizens. The U.S. Department of Justice reports that 90% of foreign-born prisoners held in this country are illegal aliens. It is dangerous out there. All law enforcement agencies need support. For example, assaults on Border Patrol agents have increased the past four fiscal years. And in fiscal year 2017, there was a 73% increase from the prior year. County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson from Massachusetts said today that the GAO gives conservative estimate of over 30,000 people have been killed since 1990 by illegal aliens. People talk about separating families. Those 30,000 plus families are permanently separated from their loved ones. Thank you, Betty. I applaud your chief. Bon hey, my name is Bon Beck and I'm a U.S. citizen. Uh, the, the San Gabriel uh, Police Department signed a Department of Homeland Security Memorandum of Understanding, the MOU. That will allow San Gabriel Police Department to cooperate with immigration officers <coughs> and they should be commended for doing so. Why? Crime prevention, sanctuary cities, harbor criminals, creating dangerous environment for U.S. citizens. Sanctuary policies defy federal laws to which state and local governments are bound. U.S. Code 1373 states that a federal, state, or local government entity or official may not prohibit in any way restrict any government entity or official from sending to or re receiving from the Immigration and Naturalization Service information regarding the citizenship or immigration status, lawful or unlawful, of any individual. The community safety is and should be the greatest concern. Do not shirk that responsibility. Thank you.